We got our first butcher box order. Instagram ads did its job here. I saw a advertisement for free bacon and $100 off, so I obviously clicked on it. And I've never done anything with like butcher box or meal services, anything like that. And I wanted to see if it would actually be worth it. For somebody like me who literally buys the cheapest meat in the grocery store, I don't know if butcher box is something that I will continue to do. Um, I just wanted to try it once and see what it's like. And I will share that with you guys to see if it is appropriate for those of us who are always balling on a budget. So let's see. The box that I got is the basic box because it was the cheapest and it was $99 and you got an order of the free bacon for like, it's free bacon for as long as you order these for and then $20 off of your first five orders. So it comes with all this packaging to keep it nice and cool. It is pretty like cold inside of there. The meat is um, still cold. It is thawing though. So it's a good thing I'm taking it out. So I think this is supposed to be roughly seven to seven and a half pounds of meat in this box. Um, so let's see what we actually got. We have got pork chops. There are four, two cutlets in each of those. And I believe yeah, so each of these is about 16 ounces. And then we got one pound of ground beef. What is, is this, 85.15, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, 85.15. And then I was really excited for these bad boys. Look at that, that looks fantastic. So these are grass-fed beef flat iron steaks. One pound, oh, they're 12 ounces. They're not quite a pound each. And then two things of bacon. This one, ooh, uh-oh. So this one is not sealed. I don't know if you guys can see that. And there's a cut in the top. Can you see that slit right there? And then one right here too. Um, I will contact ButcherBox and see how they resolve these issues because I obviously cannot use this bacon. So I got a hold of ButcherBox. All I had to do was go onto my order history. It was really simple. It said report an issue. So I just clicked on that link. My problem came up right away. So I feel like it happens often enough for it to be right there. Um, it just said that the packaging and the meat was damaged. So I clicked that. I clicked the bacon was damaged and it asked me if I wanted a $5 credit to my next box or the bacon product, whatever, to be added to the next box. So there really wasn't another option for me to like maybe get a refund for it, maybe if I wasn't interested in getting another box. So I kind of found that interesting, but I chose to do the $5 credit on my account because I'm already going to get two packages of bacon in the next box. I don't need three. Um, so that was kind of like... It didn't sit super well with me, but it was really easy and I feel like my problem is resolved. So no hard feelings there and let's get back to the rest of the review. But this one is good, nice and sealed. You can see the difference between the sealed one and not sealed one. But we did get, how many ounces is this? 10 ounces, so again, not a full pound of bacon. And then last but not least, chicken breast. Two to three boneless chicken breasts. Skinless two. How many ounces are you? This is 1.87 pounds. Okay, let's talk pricing of this. So this box is originally $99 for all of this and I got one of the deals where you get the free bacon with every order and then you also get $20 off of your first five orders. So this was $79.99. And 
I don't know. I'm a little underwhelmed. <laughs> um, I did go on to Walmart's app and I kind of priced out some very similar products to these. If I were to buy the all grass fed beef and pork and chicken at Walmart. Um, so it was like $65 roughly and this was all $79. But if you've ever followed any grocery shopping trip that I have ever taken on this channel, I do not buy all organic grass-fed meat. I buy the cheapest meat that I can, and I never buy like two to three chicken breasts. I buy the $10 ones. I cut it in half so that it can, you know, give me the most bang for my buck. Um, I will have to see how long this lasts us. I feel like the steaks are a really nice treat, honestly, um, but I feel like I get a lot of the th same things at my store for less money, which is honestly what it's all about for me is the money. I know the quality of meat is absolutely fantastic. It's grass fed, it's grass finished, um, but for your normal, average, everyday working American, I don't see this being something that we will continue. I might eat my own words after we have tasted the meat. Maybe we will keep it monthly. I don't know. Now, there is some level of convenience to this just being shipped straight to your door. And I, I think that has something to say to it. But there's also so much other convenience as well, like the pickup at Walmart. I know a lot of stores do grocery delivery. Um, so... I do think that it is super convenient just to order it on your phone and have it delivered right to your door. But again, the price just doesn't make sense to me in that aspect. If you are thinking about ordering ButcherBox and you have the extra money to do it one time just to try it out for yourself, absolutely go for it. See how it goes for you. Um, this was $80 worth of meat that I'm just not... I'm not seeing the payoff quite yet. So in my opinion, I don't think that it's 100% worth it. Um, but again, if quality of meat is something that is very, very important to you, then this might be better for you. But if you're balling on a budget like my family is all day, every day, maybe not. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope this review helped you. Um, I just wanted to give my honest opinion about it because I bought this box myself. They did not send it to me. This is not sponsored. All my own accord. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.